to stream. Stream online and and, and I forgot to include now streaming, didn't I? Drop an entire bulk of that. Right, and that's that, 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 that. Oh, you're kidding me. Right, so, <laughs> apologies, I seem to have misplaced my external chat device because I only have the one monitor and a terrible desk arrangement. As you do. And now I'm having social issues, such as the life of a teenager. Uh, either way, I haven't done this in a little while, but... Whatever. That is not my stream. That is not my stream either, because that's not a stream. Turn that off so I don't irritate the heck out of people with the repeating voice lines. Rotating some machines, do that, limiting chests, get a rail, transfer between labs. There's one in particular that I'm looking for. I don't know if this is actually listed in the hints. But if it's not, I'll just find it in the controls. I'll find it in the controls. Get rid of that. Oh my god, there are already people here. So, hi, Auntie. So, last time I did this, more people here. This is going to go downhill quickly. Um, so last time I did this, I had a railway line with oil and a couple of tanks to do with that. I had an oil set up back at the other end at uh, oil the part. I had an automatic system set up that was shuffling the train back and forth, as you do. And I was mainly wondering the layout for the next two of science packs, because on the one hand, I could just tear this whole setup apart, and I probably will have to. But I've also got to set up the stuff for the next tier of science packs, and... Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm also running into social issues, so... If this, if this ends in, like, an hour or so... That's because I, I decided to bite the bullet and go be social. And decided not to tell you guys about it, even though I probably should have told you guys in advance about it. Out of curiosity, um... Somebody mentioned... Uh, one moment. Oh, that's emoji. Yes, it's moving and discussing social. Uh, yeah, I also wired up, like, the plans for this, but I haven't actually wired it up. Uh, so in terms of planning, I am going to see if I can figure out how the heck the ghost mode works on this, because I am tired of trying to work out how to make a test world, even though I have actually made a test world, it's just a terrible test world. Uh, in controls somewhere there was a build ghost shift left mouse button. Is it really that easy? Of course it's really that easy. Okay, so if I shift left mouse button. It felt a 
ghost? Oh, okay, that, that's... I, I really should have considered that it would be that simple. So, currently we have two 25,000 oil storage pumps. We have another 25,000 on here. Uh, each of these pumps goes fairly quickly. The intent is to get this back and forth as quickly as possible. Uh, the train is currently on manual. Because if I set it to automatic, it's going to drive back there of its own accord. But we stop here. This is the other end of the line. We have here a bunch of pump jacks. A couple of tanks full of oil. Another tank full of oil. And a bunch of really poorly laid out pipes. And power that gets here. Uh, still on Steam, because I haven't researched Solar yet, because I'm a wimp. Uh, should set it, just set it to automatic, and then it drives itself <laughs> back to here. It's currently running on coal. Coal is nice, but it doesn't do good vehicle accelerations. The ants, uh, currently it gets a full cargo inventory there, it gets an empty cargo inventory here. So I'm going to currently empty, because I'm not pumping the oil off. So my next proce thought process is, okay, let's do oil refining. Now I did the math. Uh, two, two plastic makers, two, two plastic makers, two copper coil makers, three circuit board makers are enough to make advanced science. Uh, advanced circuits. So I figured I'd make a dedicated setup for that, which is going to look something like this. And I'm just building this here for now, so d just so we get a rough example of where it is. It's control. So, uh, copper coils, circuits, and the gap. Uh, we'll make this the plastic makers. But I might actually put the plastic makers on up top. And then the final red circuit makers on the ends. If I remember correctly. Uh, the stats on these seem to take six seconds to uh, to make one of these, and you may like uh, in terms of plastic, you make one every second, two of these in six seconds. It's enough to power six of these. Is it? They produce one a second. In six seconds, they produce. Enough to power one of these in in 12 seconds. They produce enough to power two. Two of these would produce enough in six seconds. Uh, they take two electronic circuits each. Electronic circuits take 0.5 seconds to make. But due to rounding, you have to make them in twos. So you can make two of those in half a second, or one of those in a quarter of a second. Uh, Six times one over four is the same as six over four. Six over four being something like 1.5. Basically what we're learning here is I can't do math. Okay, that's what we're learning here. I shouldn't try to do math on stream because I can't do math on stream. I also should have allowed more space for the, the conveyors and such. Uh, if, if any of you guys in, in the chat here know actually, like, what, what the heck I'm meant to be doing, uh, yell at me now. Because I know at least one of you does. So. People outside are being angry. Point being, you make two copper coil able in five seconds. Uh, since these take three each, three of these to two of these is a good number. 
Um, so in half a second you get two of them, in six seconds you get twelve of them. No, you'd get twenty-four, wouldn't you? Now these use two each, so that's twelve of these, and at six seconds that's two units, so yeah, twelve of these. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And then you've got to do the science packs on top of that, which take as well as uh, one advanced circuit every 12 seconds. And if we're making 12 of these every 6 seconds, that means we make enough to power 24 of these in the time it takes to make one of these. So then we need to make 24 engine units. Uh, engine units take... 10 seconds to make, and there's no good way to, like, advance that. And electric mining drills, which, if I remember correctly, are also some kind of... Two seconds? Okay, that's more reasonable. Point being, it's either have an excess amount of copper cabling, an excess amount of green circuits, or a ridiculous number of red circuits. So there's no real good way to do this. On top of that, we've also got to do oil processing. Uh, the oil processing unit itself looks something like this. And, um, and here before you yell at me in chat, yes, I know it's meant to be called a fractionating column. <sighs> Why do I make the base Um, whatever. Um, having people do the math in chat would be helpful. Um, Basic oil processing gets you 30, 30, and 40 of heavy, light, and petroleum. Uh, heavy isn't too useful. The only thing it does is go into making industrial lubricant at a 1 to 1 ratio, but 10 at a time. Uh, you need, uh, I want to say about 100 or so of the blue tier to get to the um, next tier of oil processing, which is one of these techs. That's batteries. That's advanced oil processing. You need 75. Since these take two each, you'd need 150 plastic. So you'd need 75 times 20. So 750. Uh, uh, 170 petroleum gas. And if you get... 40 per? Per, per 100 oil, and you need 170, um, that's 170 divided by 40, or 17 divided by 4, which is 4 and a bit. Uh, if that's 100 oil, and you can fit 50 oil in a drum, then 2 drums is one of these. Uh, let's call it 5. Five, so that's ten drums. So if I really wanted to, I could set up an entire drum filling thing and get exactly ten drums worth of oil. But, like, seriously? <laughs> and then I'd have to, to find a way of pumping the oil back out of the drum maker without losing oil, because oil is one of those resources that I just don't want to get rid of any. Because I never make it this far. Blue even around. No, no, blue, blue is not around. I, I have asked for the help of somebody who's left. Uh, lead rat. Um. But definitely. No, no, he's on mine. Hmm. If you guys want to be more helpful, that would be nice. Uh, the other thing is the next tier. This requires water, so that becomes really complicated. You're nearly done? What, what are you choking on? Are you choking on power or something? The other issue I'm having... Hey, you mining productivity 
three. It's three hundred, and that would also be nice. But at this point, I don't really know what to do. I might as well just just research whatever. I might as well throw into solar panels since solar power would mean reducing my dependency on coal, which is handy because I'll need coal for other things from now on. Uh, people on people watching this other than myself, please say things. Kind of creepy knowing that you're here and not knowing that you're saying anything. Because what's my map look like? Can't use the way it does. As long as there's some uranium deposits on this way that I can get later. You can tell it's been a while since I played this because I've got all the key bindings are. Uh, what's the musical question? Is she really going now with him? Uh, these are good on steam, right? These are all good on steam, I'm not using any steam anywhere. Uh, no. These are all good. Uh, copper, we've got more copper than we know what to do with. In fact, we've got so much more copper than we know what to do with. Periodically, we're getting more. These ungrateful things processing copper instead of iron, and I don't want to swap them all out for filter inserters because that would be crazy. Uh, we've got plenty of mining drills down here, all of which are still. All of which are getting me a nice some iron. You're getting me more than enough copper. So, really, resources aren't an issue here. It's just a case of setting up a damn thing to, to do the processing. But I don't really want to, because I'll have to tear all this apart. Okay. It'll be just, like, I can do that. People aren't just saying things. Yes. Um, just to, just to poke fun a little bit at the person who, in the chat that you guys can't see, uh, is questioning if I'm applying math here. Yes, math. M-A-T-H, as in numbers. 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus etc. Equals 1 over 12. Um, <laughs> some of an infinite series and... Stuff like that that they teach you in American secondary school, but they don't teach you over here because the game is weird. The same way that we don't get about two on cups of soup. Like, seriously. Where's the fun if you can't do arithmetic in the grocery store for how much... Like, where's the fun if you can't do basic algebra in the grocery store to determine how much is in your soup? Details. Uh, right. Ah, ah, get you back, get you back, get you back. Okay, so. What are we looking at? Here, uh, would it help if I wrote this stuff down? But I'm not going to because I'm, I'm, I want to make this hard on myself. Not going to write this stuff down. Okay, so we're currently at. We are going to have twelve of these things, which produces enough for twenty-four of these things. Each of them requires an engine every twelve seconds, which means that if we can make Because I'm working on the test chamber in the background. Oh, that's why you're not being witty at me. Anti? Why are you not being witty at me? You're anti. You always have some scathing remark. Are you going to tell me that I have delusions of adequacy or something? I'm sorry, but I really like power. Out of morbid curiosity, if I put a power pole, will it try and get electricity? No? No? Okay, that's fair. Either way, so we're looking at 24 of these. 24, I don't know, let's call them blues. Can you turn the background here? 24 blue sci uh, 24 of these every 12 seconds means that every 12 seconds we need 24 engine units. Now, we can do 24 engine units every 10 seconds if we have 24 engine unit makers. So, 
So 24 engine unit makers. Uh, right, that means in 10 seconds we need steel. We can do steel in about 10 seconds. Let's start. Okay, okay, where was I? So we're going to need 24 engine unit makers. Each of those is going to need one steel. Uh, steel and a steel furnace is about 10 seconds. So let, let's just say... Let, let's do that. Note that we're doing... We are doing the soup company about to rounding method here. So... That's one steel maker per engine unit. Uh, gears... Gears you make in 0.5 of a second, which means that in 10 seconds we've made 20 gears. We need one per when we're making 24, so two gears makers will produce enough and change. So... So that's the... Let, let, let's build this out again. So... Start with, oh, I don't know, we'll just start with the basic circuits. So three, two, one, two, three, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Pause. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, hit a tree, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, come on, one, two, three, four, five, six, that's the engine unit! For Jesus Christ, the people outside, can you keep your language down? I'm trying to do things on the internet here. Idiots. Each of these we're going to need a steel furnace. So that's another 24 steel furnaces, but we'll deal with that later. Two iron gears makers should be enough to cover these. I'm currently building this backwards, but it's okay, because I'll fix it up later. Two iron gears. Uh, next, each of these requires two steel... No, uh, two pipe... So, that's 48 pipe in 10 seconds. Pipe is 0.5 seconds. So, we're going to need three pipe makers at the least. One, two, two, three. <laughs> Now, I can shuffle these so some of them go on top of each other and some of them don't, but this is still going to be a massive undertaking. I mean, look at this. This is, lo this is as long as my existing production line, including the existing ore smelting procedures and the labs. And it still hasn't got the oil production tacked on at the top. So I'm going to start by clearing out the trees. And now we break it down. This is where I break out a spreadsheet in the other tab. So, spreadsheet. Spreadsheet. That's a writer document. I want a spreadsheet. Come on. Okay, so... Two... Uh, two, two... Three, two, two to, th two to three to twenty-four. 
No, 2 to 3 to 12. To 24. To another 24. And here our numbers start to break down a bit. So to another, uh, to another 24. To 3. And to 3. That's gears. That's gears. I don't care that it's spelt incorrectly because screw it, you're never going to see this document. That's gears. That's pipe. Engines. Science. Steel. Science packs. Ah. Uh, just call that red for now. Call that green. Quite wire. Um, and that's before we get to the mining drills. So now that we know that we're making 24 of these, each of these requires one electric mining drill. Now, it takes two seconds to make a mining drill, and we've got 12 seconds, which means we can make six of them. Since we're doing 24, that's six times four, so we need four things making mining drills. So, four drills. Uh, to get four drills, we're going to need more electronic circuits. We need three per one of the. Uh, the, 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 the I'm going to stop talking for a second. Three Let me just. I can see! This room is no longer as dark as my soul! Um. Okay, so electric mining drills, electric mining drills, that's three circuits each in two seconds, uh, one circuit maker in two seconds makes four circuits, so if we're going to need four drills, <laughs> it's a good thing that we need an even number because we're not going to get anything else. So one of these makes enough for one, two of these make enough for two, three of these will make enough for four. So it's another three circuit makers, three, three greens, to another two copper wires. <laughs> Next you need five iron gears. Um... But it's okay, because we've already done the math on that. Three gear makers... ...will keep up, because they they do the same... That, um... Uh, you know, it's late, because I'm not actually prepared for that to happen. That's advanced material processing too, which I want later. At this point, I just want to get something that'll be useful, maybe long term, so... Robotics? Electric energy accumulators? Laser? Gun turret damage? Well, I'm not currently killing things, so... Gun turret damage is a bit questionable, but... Yeah, lasers. Alright. Three gear makers. And is that all? Have I finally managed to pin down everything? Okay, so what's the total on this? Uh, because I'm using the spreadsheet, I can call auto sum but, but because I'm weird, I'm going to just type in equal sum and then select the relevant cells. And you're going to spit out 107. So I'm going to need 107 assembling machines. I have 11 on me. How many can I make? I can make another 9. That brings me up to 20. I'm going to need 107. I need to make another 87 assembling machines. <laughs> what I should really do is I should really make an assembling machine that makes assembling machines. <laughs> That's what I should do. That's what any responsible person would do. I am not a responsible person, so... <laughs> what I'm instead going to do is I'm instead going to increase the maximum amount of resources I'm allowed to siphon off the lines any one time.
And I'm going to start making prerequisite bits. And why is copper still getting in? Seriously, I do not want to have to filter these. It's painful and expensive. I've got a fast insertion on me that I could briefly use to just like kickstart that. I keep, I, I keep a fast inserter somewhere just to like get through backlogs and stuff quickly. Yeah, I like that. You better really keep more than one on me just for this kind of thing, but man. Come on, guys. I don't want to do all the work here. Say witty things in chat to make me laugh and stay sane and stuff. Just make another fast and surgical one. And I'll make the rest of those assembling machines. What we're kind of aiming for here is a von Neumann replicator system whereby you make a replicator that makes replicators that makes replicators. So now what I'm going to do is I'm now going to clear out all the forest between here and here, and I'm going to do some thinking while I do that. So, we're going to need 24 steel furnaces, and we will end up with change here, but 24 steel furnaces. Each steel furnace takes 6 steel and 10 stone brick. 24 times 6 is a big number, but 24 times 10 is easy, that's 240. So we're going to need at least 240 stone bricks, and 6 times 24. 5 times 20 is 100, so 120, and 5 times 4 is... 6 times 4 is 24, so 144 steel. Okay. That we can do. 144 steel, I can do out of pocket. Uh, the 100 and something odd bricks, that's more difficult. But the more, the more of these we make, the easier that gets. So I'll just take another batch of those. Knew these old stone furnaces would come in handy. So if I have to make 144, no, I have to make 100 and 240 bricks. 240 stone bricks. Each of those requires, if I remember correctly, it's 5 stone or is it 2 stone? Oh, come on. A stone brick. 2 stone. Okay, that's better. So that means I'm going to need 480 stone. 480 stone. I can do 480 stone. 480 stone divided by 4 is 120, so we're going to want 4 sets of 120. However, 4 sets of 120 you can't exactly do very easily, because stone only stacks to 50. So either I'm going to automate this, or I'm going to do this the lazy way, and just give each of them 50. Which means that after four iterations of doing this, I'll have enough. In the meantime, I dumped a steel chest down here. Which I can just steal an entire row of that from and drop that back in. Will I ever need that much stone? Uh, if I ever need that much, that's fine. If I ever need more than that, that's also fine, because I can do that too. I'm also going to need more coal. More coal isn't necessarily difficult. Fortunately, I keep exactly three stacks on hand just in case of such an occasion. And I can use keyboard shortcuts to speed this up. There we go. And you should all start making me bricks. The steel I have on hand. Any like subcomponents I need to make things? Uh, probably not. I've got the 20 of the 400 or so that I'm going to need. So I could start pinching parts off the manufacturing line. In fact, what would probably be better is if I took apart the manufacturing line now. And used the spare bits that I got from that to start making the bits that I'm going to need. Um, um, you. Yeah, you? What about you? No, I'll let you clear your own backlog out, and then I'll take you entirely to bits. Actually, no, what might be better is if I just let you backlog naturally. I'm going to let you finish your current research, and then I'll let you backlog.
So it doesn't try to put copper in their place. I've got enough copper on me. Um, I can make another 18 of these. Doing them in back to 20 probably isn't the most efficient way of doing it. What's the current cap anyway? I'm going to grab another stack of copper just in case it is copper that's holding me back. It's not copper that's holding me back. It's probably still iron. There we go, 21. So another mate, uh, another batch of 20. And we'll let that recuperate. You are already done. That was faster than I expected. So we have 100 stone. 110? Hey, if I get change from it, who might argue? 24. Or times 6 is a 144? Yeah, I have that too. Uh, it just depends. Do I need 144 bricks or 144 steel? I've got 144 steel. I'm fine. I, I, as I, I do appreciate you doing math for me, but I think actually, now that I'm on that subject, the lag on the stream is so great that if you try doing the math for me, uh, I, I'm never going to, to notice because I will finish the math in my on my calculator before you finish the math in your head or on your calculator, so... Yeah. Sorry. I'm probably killing my production line by dropping this large iron requirement on top of it, but details. Yeah, no, 240. Uh, since we're nearly in the 200 mark, and I have, uh, I have 10 on me, how much does it take to make 30? If it's 2 per, that means 60, so that's 50 and 10. Fifty and ten. If we divide that between four units, that's each of them doing fifteen. Don't take your stone brick and drop you in. Take your stone brick and drop you in. You and then take your brick. You and you. Uh, I should probably start making these anyway, just so I'm ready. The last, the last set I'll make all at once. I'm gonna need inserters. Fortunately, I made sure to put a backlog of them. Unfortunately, I'm gonna need a backlog of 50. And conveyors, too. I better make sure I get an extra backlog on conveyors. I'm gonna need the conveyors. Really getting the conveyors actually. So again, I'll just let this line finish doing its own thing. How about I briefly swap you back to a regular? Just so this line actually continues to do something. And Oh right. You can't do odd numbers of bricks, can you? Because brick. Brick comes in twos, so you can't do odd numbers of bricks. Anybody on the Discord yelling at me? Right, whatever. Uh, let, let's start checking other details. Uh, the circuits and the engines are going to require advanced. Uh, how are we making the circuits and the engines? The reds need 12, the engines themselves are um, going to need 24, but I also need them for the, the blues, so that's 24, 48, 60. So 60 of my 107 are going to have to be tier 2s. Lovely. Uh, you guys are still hammering away on your iron line, that's good. Okay? Question mark, question mark, question mark. Yeah. Yeah, what are you referring to? 
I'm sorry, you know me. I don't pick up on social cues too well. I'm also gonna have like a bunch of science packs just floating around on me afterwards, so I should probably make some steel chests just to keep them in or whatever. So we've got. Have we got all the steel furnaces I was gonna need? I was making steel furnaces earlier, wasn't I? Oh, good, I, I did. There's the 24 steel furnaces. We are also going to need to fuel the steel furnaces, and we're going to need coal for the chemical parts. I was thinking of putting the coal and the plastic, or the copper and the plastic, on the same line. I'll probably go copper and plastic on the same line. But I don't know if I want to do coal and circuits on the same line, or... Um... I'll start by just laying out ghosts for two lines of conveyors, and we'll go from there. And again, need to do more tree clearing. More deforesting. I should really get a flamethrower and do this. Oh, that's my axe is broken. I have no idea what you're referring to, that's how bad the stream lag is. Again, what once this system all fully backlogs, we'll take it to bits. That's once this conveyor chest fills up, which will be soon. Once these all backlog, which they have. Everything is fully backlogged. Pretty much, it's just this one last gear maker. Yep, yep. And... 19, again, because apparently... I am exactly short by some small indeterminate number. No, I'll, I'll cut it off here, anyway. And I'll start tearing this all apart. So we'll start with the... We'll start with the line that's feeding the steel, because I'm not currently doing anything else with the steel. I'll also make a point of cutting off the power, if it weren't for the fact that I just cut off the power for that as well. So I'll put that back. Temporarily. I'm going to need power lines too, aren't I? I've got, uh, I've got like a lot of steel backlogged, enough to make a lot of power lines anyway, because how much is that to make a power line? The big ones, five each, and the small ones, two each? Like, yeah, no, that'll be fine. Where are you guys getting all your power from anyway? I thought I cut off all the power connections. Guess not. So I'll cut you off. There we go. Now you're all out of power. You won't be doing anything. Sorry, that's just bugging me. Is my inventory gonna fill up? Let's see. Oh, 
Oh, they stack infinitely? Well, not infinitely, but to large numbers? That's kind of cool. I did not know that. So what time is it? 9.30? I think I'll call this off at about 10. Not because I want to... Uh, it's like I've got social obligations, sort of, kind of. Start taking apart all the... Producers. Now my inventory is really starting to fill up. Ah damn, I didn't do the math on how many I currently had. I think I had about 60 of these. A bad, I could check the stream DVR. Uh, I will actually check the, steam, uh, the stream DVR just to make sure that I definitely have the same amount that I intended to. But no, I might have actually had 40. Okay, so 40. So 40 of those, I've now got 85, so I've got another 45 on me that I need to subtract off. I might actually add to our current running total of 107, which is now 147, 150, 152, I'm about to be interrupted. I'm not. 852, so... Oh, come on, start telling me that I've run out of inventory. Come on. There we go. But if I go like that, that'll get a little faster. Just a random unconnected power line. Yep. <laughs> Come on. Tell me my inventory is full. It's not. <laughs> How is it not full yet? I don't know. I just realized I never saved any of the math for the last tiers. Or accurately, I, I never did it cohesively, so... Um... Crap? I'm just gonna have to rebuild this with, like, the new system intent in mind, or I'm gonna have to redo the math on the previous ones. I'll have to do the redo the math on the previous ones, then. Okay, so I've got all the furnaces. Uh, now, let's do the greens. Okay, uh, oh, I'll do the reds first. So reds are a gear and a copper, one into one to ten ratio. Ten. One. Red. Gear. And now let's go for green. Green is a transport belt and an inserter. Every six seconds. An inserter we craft every 0.5 seconds, so in 6 seconds time we can craft 12 of these. So it's a 1 to 12.
to 12 green. I'm so glad I did ratios. 12 green to 1 in Cersei. Next question is how many inserters can we make? Because they each need one circuit and one iron gear. Gears and circuits take the same time amount of them to make, so we can just put one uh, one gear maker per. That's fine. The circuits, however, we have to make in twos, which turns that from one inserter to two inserters to twenty or green science packs. That's two inserters, two circuits, two gears, and then on top of that, there's the belts. It takes one belt per green in circuit, but the math on that is the same. We can actually make it from one to one, so that's one belt. To one gear. So that's eleven. Okay, so that's I'll save the eleven for last. Two, four, six, eight, uh, thirty-two, forty-three. So I think I did my math wrong somewhere. But okay, so if we now total the number of circuit components that we need, ah, that's why I didn't include the the copper wire for the circuits, which is another three. So if we start totaling things, we're going to need five circuit makers. Also, I think I got my math on the copper wire to... Three to two, isn't it? Yeah, three... Three wire makers to two circuit makers. So that actually becomes... So we have three circuit makers, that then becomes three wire makers? No, that becomes four. Because it's one to two, but... Ah, uh, sorry, there's, there's just too many numbers, too many numbers. Even if I'm writing them down, they're still just too much. So, let's break this down slowly. Three cables, but you make these two at a time. So it's easier to do two circuit makers and three cable makers. Which produces exactly enough. If you were to then do five cable makers... To three, you'd get excess, but excess is fine, and I didn't factor in the cable ores for the advanced circuit, did I? Which is four, and we make them two at a time, which then means we have to add another. I'll just stick this somewhere so that I have it. Uh, another two wire. So, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um. 43, 45, 50, uh, 65, 68, 71, 75, 80, 83, wait no I just totaled that as 110 at the bottom didn't I? Except it should actually be 112 shouldn't it? Ah oh, but no it's a running total! 
So there's 110. 110 plus this running total, which is uh, 32, 35, 46, 156. One hundred and fifty six, and how many of these do we have so far? We have fifty and change. Uh, we have eighty five of the one hundred and fifty six. Give or take. So we're a little over halfway there. What I'm going to do is make another 20. The best bit is we've got all the parts on us because we took apart the earlier assembly line. Right, so what we now have is... I don't know that's an exact amount. Of course it's not. Uh, let, let's start shuffling inventory just so I can see this better. That's 100. I'd like another... Too many is fine, because we can make change, basically. And we can push it up to 156, yeah. And it'll bring us up to... Uh, Bingham. I haven't actually put on music in the background, but I'm not... I, I want it would mess with the Factorio vibe, because I happen to like this music. Although there, there's just not quite enough of it, really. It's too sparse, in my opinion. 35, this should become 155. And I actually have to make some iron gears to make that last one. Also, let's pick up this setup here because we'll be making engines automatically from now on and we're not going to need them manually anymore. And if we do need them manually, I'll just make the bits and start doing them manually again anyway. So we now have 150, we now have 157, and change. What do you make of that? Don't make that of that. Uh, uh, just so I have a new technology selected, uh, we're going to jump straight into the advanced oil processing, and then advanced materials processing. That's batteries. <laughs> That's advanced oil processing. Okay, I'm going to tear this apart because this isn't actually too useful and I'll start assembling the ghost stuff down there. I'll also lay out a ghost for the oil thing and any of you guys who have played this before on the chat, because I don't know who's here, you can tell me how I'm doing with the oil setup. I'll, I'll cut off at that for now, I can fix the best later. So... Ghost layout for the oil setup will look something like this. Okay, good, that's the ghost button. I know, I know, these pipes look awful, but I'll fix them. They, they, they'll fix themselves once I actually get them set up properly. I'll put the actual oil refinery down because I've only got the one and. As long as I set this up right, I won't ever need to move it, so. Uh, this port down here should become water later, and I can hook up water from some offshore pumps over on this side. Stick a couple down here, put a tank on them so I've got extra. Run up, keep them separate from the boiler line, just so I don't break anything major. Uh, 